Hello YouTubers, it's Magic the Gathering UK here again with part 6 of the Innistrad Booster Box. And a special surprise for you this episode, we have the lovely hands, look at them, <laughs> with bow rings and everything. Okay, um, I believe we've got about 9 packs left, um, so let's get these cracked open. Still looking for that Snapcaster Mage. Okay, we we have then uh, a Selfless Cathar, Forbidden Alchemy. Sweet, I was hoping to get more of these. Uh, I've only actually pulled one so far, and a whole box, and it's a common. Uh, I did get two actually, one of them was a shiny, but you know, I have actually been wanting to get more of these. So there we go, that's an awesome pull. Um, One-Eyed Scarecrow. Harvest Pyre. Sorry, we're just trying to get these uh, lined up. There we are, you can see that. Harvest Pyre. Spidery Grasp. Ancient Grudge. Avacyn's Pilgrim, Prey Upon, the first uncommon there is Diagraph Gold, oh, Diagraph Ghoul, sorry, <laughs> I can never pronounce these cards right, um, and we have a Scarb Goliath, and an Inquisitor's Flail, and slowly then to reveal the rare, first of all is it blue, it's blue, sweet, hang on, let's do it close up to see if it begins with an S. This is what I've been doing if it's blue because I want a Snapcaster Mage. Come on, focus. Here we go. <laughs> Does it begin with S? No. no, it begins with C. Don't know what that is then. It's another Cackling Counterpart. That's a pretty decent card from, uh, from what I know. So yeah, not too bad. Pass it back to the lovely hands. <laughs> Uh, so we've got the uh... Oh, shit. <laughs> so we've got the uh, what do you call it card? We've got the uh, whatever they're called. I forget. I can never remember the name of those bloody things. The uh, checklist card, we'll call it. Uh, oh, and the flip card is a grizzled outcast, and he turns into uh, Kralen Horde wontons. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> Sounds quite perish, doesn't he? And we have a zombie token, sweet. And we've got a foil. I haven't had a foil rare yet, or uncommon. Oh, there's the uncommon. It's a cloistered youth flip card. So we've got a shiny flip, so it'll be a foil on both sides, look. And it turns into an unholy fiend. That's very nice. Do like that. Flip cards are always cool, especially when they're shiny. Pack number two, then. I think we'd be asking a lot if we got a uh, Lili Liliana as well as all the other cards we've had already. But nothing wrong with uh, asking, even if you don't get. Okay, so we have. Um, I can't read that. There we go. Ashmouth Hound. We have Naturalize. Awesome art on this Naturalize. Really like that. Hysterical Blindness, Blood Crazed Neonate, Rebuke, Walking Corpse, Think Twice, pretty good card that, Chapel Geist, and a Shimmering Grotto. Oh, and the Uncommons, Invisible Stalker, I'm not sure if I've had any of those yet, but. People are saying that's going to be a big hitter in standard play, but we shall see. Uh, Grasp of th Phantoms. And the last uncommon is a Diagraph Ghoul again. Okay, and the rare. It's black. It's not a Liliana. It's a Curse of Death's Hold. Um, it's quite expensive for just a minus one, minus one ability. Uh, no, it doesn't look too bad, but it's very costly, so I don't think that'll, that'll get any play. And we have... Check this card, and the Cloistered Youth is our flip card. 
and that transforms into Unholy Fiend. So we just got a foil one of those, and now we have the non-foil one, and a tips card. They are pretty good packs so far. Six more to go. Rip that pack open. There we are, we're in. <laughs> so we have... <laughs> <laughs> Try and straighten it up a bit. There we go. Fan Prick Fury then. Silver Chase Fox. Lost in the Mist. Typhoid Rats. Ghostly Possession. Ancient Grudge. Thraben Pure Bloods. <coughs> Sensory Deprivation. Spectral Flight. Okay, in the Uncommons we have Full Moon's Rise. Oh yes, another trepanation blade. I was hoping to get at least uh, at least one more of these, so that's a very cool card. And Mask of Avicen is the last uncommon. And the rare then, is it blue? Oh, it uh, looks like an evil twin. There we are. That's a pretty good card. <coughs> I haven't had any of those yet, so pretty chuffed about that. There it is, if you haven't seen it from that distance. And a checklist card. And the flip card is a Village Ironsmith. And he turns into... Iron Fang! <laughs> there we are. And what was that? A homunculus token. What the hell is a homunculus? <laughs> He's a scary looking thing. <laughs> He's coming to homunculus you. Um, <laughs> and next pack then. Uh, it's my turn now. <coughs> the lady friend of choice is uh, coughing away over there, so I think she needs to get a quick drink. Oh, dear, I'm struggling. Okay. What have we got here then? We have a Voiceless Spirit, a Markov Patrician, Ashmouth Hound, Gnaw to the Bone, Dead Weight, Bump in the Night, Spare from Evil, Fuhrer of the Bitten, Dark Thicket Wolf, Desperate Ravings is the first uncommon. The second is Murder of Crows. And the third is Runic Repetition. And the rare is another gold card. There's another gold with blue in it. Could it be another evil twin? Two in a row. It is. It's another evil twin. <laughs> two packs in a row, two evil twins. That's pretty crazy. It's a pretty decent card though, so... Pretty chuffed about that. And we've got a, another checklist card. And the flip card is a village ironsmith. And he turns into Iron Fang, I do believe. There he is. Pretty nice. And of course, a tips card. Not too shabby. Two uh, evil twins in a row. It's not too bad at all. Uh, would have been nice if it had been two Snapcaster Mages in a row, but that card seems to be ridiculously rare compared to some of these cards. Next pack then, back to the lovely hands. And we've still got a few packs left, five packs, something like that. <gasps> Rip it open. <laughs> there we go.
Okay. For this pack, we have a. Is it going to focus? We have an Elder Cathar, a Victim of Night, Kinder Catch, Brimstone Volley, um, Riot Devils, Frightful Delusion, Corpse Lunge, Ambush Viper, that's a pretty decent card. A uh, two-one flash with death touch. It means, like, if for example you're being attacked by a titan, um, you could just flash this beast out, uh, you know, to their surprise, block with it, and kill the bloody titan. So, uh, very good card, I think. Moon heron. It's quite nice art on that card. Into the maw of hell is the first uncommon. We have a silver inlaid dagger. Is the second. And the third is a Ghost Quarter. Awesome card. I mean, I've only pulled one of those so far as well, so to get a second, um, very nice. And the rare, it's a Geist Honoured Monk. I have no idea if that is good or not. Or oh, what's it do? Vigilance, no. Vigilance is okay. Power times the number of creatures control. That's okay, it's quite costly for five though. I don't think you're going to get much value out of that card. Uh, yeah, guys, the Honoured Monk then. And we have a checklist card. And the flip card is a Grizzled Outcasts. Who turns it into the Krallen Horde Wontons. It's a 7 7 beast. Quite dangerous if you get them out. And a Spirit Token. Very nice. Three more packs to go then, I think. Or was it four? I'm not sure. Still not got that Snapcaster Mage. I will always have hope though. <laughs> we have a Moon Mist. Vampire Interloper, Somberwold Spider, A Walking Corpse, Smite the Monstrous, Geist Flame, Makeshift Mauler, Thraben Purebloods, First Uncommon then is a Graveyard Shovel, Disciple of Grizzlebrand is the second. And the last one is a Fiend Hunter. And the rare then, does it is it blue? Is it blue? No, it's white. Um, don't know what that could be. Divine Reckoning. It's like a uh, very similar to a Day of Judgment, that card, apart from it has flashback. And you get to keep one of your creatures as well. So it's not So it's in some ways it's good. As good as a Day of Judgment, some ways not as good. The flashback definitely helps, but it's a pretty decent card. And the, the uh, checklist card. And we have a Cloistered Youth again. Getting a few of those now. And the Cloistered Youth turns into the Unholy Fiend, of course. And Zombie Token. Oh, we have a shiny. It's an artifact. What could it be? It's a butcher's cleaver foil. That's pretty cool looking. Oh, <laughs> flinged it at the camera. That looks pretty awesome actually, doesn't it? That is cool. Butcher's cleaver foil. Lovely jubbly. <laughs> <laughs> I can do videos longer than 15 minutes now, so we're not going to worry too much about the time. Should better get this done. I've got 29 minutes on my camera. So as long as it doesn't take that long, which it shouldn't. <laughs> really enjoying breaking open this set. It's a very cool, cool one to do. Um, Smite the monstrous. Wooden stake. Victim of night. 
Festerhide Boar, Frightful Delusion, Ranger's Guile, Bump in the Night, another Geist Flame, Traveller's Amulet, and the first uncommon is Intangible Virtue, and a Tribute to Hunger. Last uncommon then is Murder of Crows, and the rare slowly does it. It's green. I'm not sure what that could be. Splur, splin, splinter fright. Um, again, it's one of these ones that relies on having creatures in your own graveyard, uh, which isn't particularly easy to do, really, unless you're milling yourself. It's just I don't know. It's a difficult one to do. I'm not sure this card's going to play well at all. Um, but it's good to have a, a different rare, so can't complain too much. And the flip card is... Civilized Scholar. Now that is a good card. And he flips into... Homicidal Brute. He's a brute. Rawr. And tips card and a planes. Yay. Do like the artwork on the lands on this set. So just two more packs to go, still no Snapcaster Mage. Will we get lucky? I just don't know. Haven't had a rare foil either, so that's disappointing. But you never know what will happen in these two packs. We have... Riot Devils. Ghostly Possession, Mulch, Skeletal Grimace, I hate the art on that card, it's disgusting, <laughs> uh, Selhoff Occultist, Think Twice, awesome card, <laughs> Brain Weevil, wait, 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 I can't see the uh, attacking and blocking, there you go, Brain Weevil, <laughs> funny little thing, Furor of the Bitten, Orchid Spirit. <laughs> First uncommon then is Dissipate. The second is Scourge of Gaia Reach. And the last one, Runic Repetition. Okay, and the rare, please be blue. It's not, it's an artifact. Oh, it's going to be that crappy. Oh, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Another mythic. Now that is impressive. It's a Grimrar of the Dead. This card is pretty janky. I don't think you're going to be seeing this in standard. Uh, but I could be wrong. But it's an awesome card for the kitchen table. And classic... Um, what's it called? What's it called? Casual. That's the word I was looking for. And casual games. I can see this being a lot of fun indeed. So I'm very happy about that. I was looking forward to building some kind of deck with this card. So yeah. Another mythic. Brilliant. And we have a Screeching Bats is our Transformer card. And he turns into Stalking Vampire. That's a pretty decent card as well. And... Oh, I thought we might have a shiny, but no, it's a swamp. With the tips card. So we've got one more pack. One more chance for that Snapcaster. I definitely don't think we're going to get Liliana now, seeing as it's, uh, we pulled another Mythic. But we'll just have to hope. Still haven't got a foil rare, so maybe the uh, foil rare in here, maybe, will be a Liliana. We can only hope. Okay. First card then is Unruly Mob. Cobbled Wings. Vampiric Fury. Silver Chase Fox. Lost in the Mist. Chapel Geist. Corpse Lunge, Dark Thicket Wolf, uh, the last uncommons of the box then, uh, Boneyard Worm, Fiend Hunter, the final uncommon is Memory's Journey, not very good, and the rare then, it's not blue, it's a land by the looks of it, it's another Sulphur Falls, yeah I've already got one of those but you know, dual lands are pretty decent. 
always worth a little bit of money, so can't complain too much there. And flip card is going to be, after the checklist card, the Delver of Secrets and a homunculus token. And of course the Delver of Secrets turns into Insectile Aberration, which is a 3-2. So yeah, we're flying of course. Oh, and there is a shiny I think. Oh, begins a bitter, ah, oh, it's a bitter heart witch uncommon. So I didn't even get one foil rare in this box. Normally you get at least one, but not for me. I got a foil bittersweet, bittersweet, bitter heart witch. Which is uh, not too bad I suppose. There it is, all foily. Looks pretty cool though, doesn't it? Would you agree, sexy hands? Yes. <coughs> yes, you would. Okay, let's recap then what I pulled in this uh, rather nice box, I'd say. Um, do you want to go through the foils for me? No? You don't want to help me with the foils. Okay, just give me a minute, I'm just uh, sorting through these. Um, we've got quite a lot of good stuff in here. Okay, I'm gonna. Hopefully, this is in some kind of order in the parts. So these are the ones I got in part one, and so forth. So we've got a champion of the parish. We got Nevermore. Skursdag High Priest. The Angel of Flight Alabaster. Mentor of the Meek. Rooftop Storm, another Rooftop Storm, Clifftop Retreat, uh, we've got a rare flip card, Mayor of Averbrook, who turns into Halpack of Alpha, Laboratory Maniac, Isolated Chapel, Rune Chancer's Pike, Cackling Counterpart, Creepy Doll, Moorland, uh, Moorland Haunt, Back from the Brink, Moldgraf Monstrosity, Mind Shrieker, Charm Breaker Devils, Blasphemous Act, Sulphur Fools, Rare Flip Card Ludwig's Test Subject, who turns into Ludwig's Abomination, <laughs> Abomination, uh, Devil's Play, Sever the Bloodline, Sulphur Falls again, Splinter Fright, Divine Wreck, Geist Honoured Monk, sorry about the quick cut there, the uh, camera stopped, I must have uh, gone over the time limit or something, but anyway, Geist Honoured Monk, Evil Twin, Evil Twin again, Curse of Death's Hold, Cackling Counterpart, and the mythic rares then, we got Muramad Phantasm, Geist of Saint Traft, Garuk Relentless, transforming planeswalker who turns into Garuk the Veil Cursed, Essence of the Wild, Angelic Overseer, and Scarb Ruinator. And finally, Grimoire of the Dead. So we've got a nice selection of Mythics there in that box. Can't complain at all. And for the foils then, we got Bitter Heart Witch, Butcher's Cleaver, Cloistered Youth flip card that turns into Unholy Fiend, Sensory Deprivation, Elder Cathar, Forbidden Alchemy, very nice. Spectral Flight. And Urgent Exorcism. Okay, so that does it for our Innistrad booster box break. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I certainly did. Some awesome cards out of that box. I think we've got seven Mythics in total, which is just absurd. Very good indeed. Well, thanks very much for watching. Uh, we'll see you again soon for more pack breaks. Subscribe, like, comment, let us know what you think. And uh, we'll see you again soon. Do the sexy hands want to say goodbye? Bye-bye. They want to see the hands. There they are. They're saying goodbye. So uh, we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>